The greater Seattle area is teeming, of course, with creativity from paintings and glass art to powerful filmmaking and purely entertaining shows. Mm -hmm. My pal Nancy Guppy Hello. has hand <laughs> oh, there she is. There she is. She, she's right there. Right there. She's handpicked a few of her favorite things to spotlight because mm -hmm. that makes sense. You wouldn't pick your least favorite I things. I wouldn't. Things that I that think would don't be go see. Not good. I wouldn't go there. No. Weekend zone. Take Weekend it away. zone. Let's do it. Okay, so we're going to start out with I'm, I'm saying the grand master flash of glass. That's a pretty good one Woo. for Dale Chihuly. That so, could be a wrap, maybe. Uh, totally. Maybe we can kind of write that. No. Uh, yeah. oh, well, with pop rocks in my mouth. Yeah, I'm still trying to recover from my <laughs> culinary pop rocks. Okay, so Tacoma Art Museum has a permanent collection of Chihuly glass. And one of the site specific pieces is called Ma Chihuly's Floats. And these are 39 um, floating glass there pieces. There she is. There she is. Uh, that uh, Chihuly made for his uh, mother, Violet. So these 39 pieces, they were inspired by um, his 1991 trip to Japan, also by Dale's um, growing up in Tacoma and picking up glass floats on Puget Sound beaches. Oh, right? that's Remember a seeing cool those kind of homage. Things? Yeah, yeah, I loved those things. So they're um, installed right now. Every spring they come out and they stay up all the way through August. So if you take a trip down to the museum, you can check those out. There's also a lot of other cool exhibits. And of course, there's the Chihuly Glass Bridge and the hot shop to yeah. see all that stuff going on. And so that never gets old. It does not get old. Yeah, it's really cool. All right, so let's talk film, shall we? Let's do. Okay, so there's two screenings at Northwest Film Forum I want to mention. The first one is a uh, filmmaker. His name is Adam Secular, and he's a local guy. He's made a very poignant documentary called Tomorrow Never Knows, and it's about Char and Cynthia, a couple who are dealing with um, a dementia. So Char mm. was diagnosed early on, um, uh, early onset of Alzheimer's, and so she and Cynthia, her partner, they're trying to, and this is kind of interesting, they're pursuing the idea of a thoughtful and conscious Destroy death amidst the very chaotic oh, mental wow. decline. So obviously this is a sobering topic and we don't really like to look at this kind of thing, but we all don't know what's coming down the pipe for us. And so these kind of stories might actually be very useful and helpful to us. So I think it's worth seeing. It's a very thoughtful documentary. Yeah. Runs one night only Wednesday, the 24th of April at Northwest okay, Film Forum. so coming up soon. Yes, very soon. The second one is also at the Forum. It's this weird and wonderful film. It's called Shelf Life. <laughs> and it was made um, in 1993 and directed by Paul Bartel, who did Eating Raoul. Yes. Remember that movie? Yes, I yeah. do. And that I was think a good this movie. Was, this might have been his last movie he made. So the premise is surreal. It starts on November 22nd, 1963, a family of five is watching TV. They learn that JFK has been shot and killed, and the dad says, that's it, we're going down into the bunker. So they all go down into the, into the bunker underneath their house, and the next scene is pretty much the entirety of the film takes place 30 years later in the bunker. So if They're still in the bunker. Right. The oh three kids, gosh. the two parents are not there anymore. They have not survived. So the kids, T Tina, Scotty, and Pam, they're in their mid-30s. They still have this kind of childlike mentality because that's where they've lived. Right. So it's this fascinating tale of kind of survival. I mean, obviously, it's, it's a, a myth in a lot of ways. Um, mm -hmm. But it's really, really interesting. And it, it came out 25 years ago. It's getting this revival. It's playing all around, around the country. And they're going to be at the Forum on May 11th, Saturday. Okay. Well, one screening, and I'm going to do a post-show uh, conversation okay. with, the, the, with the actors. Yes, Can't afterwards. Think? So okay, that'll great. be really fun. Um, okay, a beautiful uh, show of paintings. Fred Lyceus, I think that's how you say his name. Terrific painter. He's got a new show. It's called Flourish. And so the new works are influenced and informed um, by the natural world. And uh, Fred there says, they are. Look at that. They are. aren't they beautiful? That and is really cool. It is. And he's, he's very, uh, you know, informed by the nature. And he kind of says the paintings are a reflection of nature and also a, a reflection of himself. So he goes out into the forest. He, he, he hikes, like tries that. to find places where there's no trails, no signs, no right. noise, gets in, you know, kind of gets inspired, takes all of his experiences and kind of in, in whatever's come into his mind back to the studio and starts painting. And he says, I love this, he thinks that the world is fundamentally harmonious. And, and how he kind of reflects that is he'll put kind of really unique d and different flora and fauna together in the same mm -hmm. painting. My takeaway is two things can be very, very different and they can also thrive and s survive and thrive together. In, in the, the world same, together. In the, in the world together. I like that yeah. idea. So that show flourishes up through April 28th at uh, Patricia Ravzar Gallery um, downtown. Got it. And uh, finally, Teatro Zanzani has been around for 20 plus years. They've moved all over the place, permanent home now in Woodenville. Their current show, Hollywood and Vine, I was not dying to see it because I've seen it so many times. Mm -hmm. But a friend of ours was in the show, so we went to support her. And I was, we were so <laughs> delighted. It was delightful. I and mean, of course, the typical great aerialists, gymnastics, uh, wacky, funny stuff. But really what got me in the show was Christine Deaver, who is the ringmaster, kind of the Kevin Kent yes, of the show. Yes. She 
it, she killed it. Um, so, so she plays these different oh, that's characters. That's great, because I think a, a lot of people would have your same reaction. Oh, like, oh, okay, I've seen it before. That show, yeah. But you haven't seen this show. You haven't seen this show. And she, she, what's so great about her is that she involves the, uh, she commands the tent, mm -hmm. and she brings the audience in in a way that's just, Wonderful. She, you know, she brings people up. She's making you know, silly stuff, making kind of fun of them, but in a really wonderful way, never humiliating. And it really, they become the star of the show, the that's audience, cool. and the whole tent. All of us are, are are pulling for them, you know. So that's that's quite a skill for for her to be able to do right. that. Um, so anyway, I think that Teatro is kind of one of those feel-good experiences that you can kind of keep going back to. And, and this particular show runs through uh, April 28th, uh, Hollywood Invite, and the next one, Love, Chaos, and Dinner with um, the Caesar, mm -hmm. Frank Ferrante, that mm -hmm. opens on May 2nd. Very so, good. Yeah. And then there's yes. Record Store Day yes. with you. Yes, Record Tell Store Day. Tell me about this. So Record Store Day, we do a Record Store Day show for Art Zone every year, and, and this year we are uh, focusing, or we feature four bands. Um, and so we, I don't know if we're going to be able to show it if we can, but we, have, I, we did a promo where I end up getting a bunch of water in my face, which oh. is kind of silly and fun, which I wrote the promo, so <laughs> of you, course, you, you know, I, I, yeah, I liked it. But the, so four bands, we shot the show at um, the Royal Room, which I, I love know you Royal love, Room. and Columbia City, Great so place. it's really about kind of um, making, you know, kind of raise, rising up or raising up this great live venue to see music, these four local bands, and then of course making a big deal out of record stores and the fact that they exist and we can all and go in. And we can support them. Yes, which is so important. Yeah. Nancy, yeah. thank you very oh, you much. Bet. Very, Appreciate very it. You can catch Art Zone with Nancy Guppy Friday nights at 8 on Seattle Channel. We've linked more information online, including how to stream past episodes. You can catch up with Nancy for as long as you want. <laughs> Still had a teeth whitening system. You'll be sick of me. Work in minutes. Never, never. We'll be right back. Ha, ha, ha.